Hi, Elizabeth Sheik here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY starfish necklace. You'll need a few items. You're going to need crimping pliers, needle nose pliers, a wire cutter, as well as a flat style plier. In addition to this, you're going to need bead stringing wire. This one is by Bedalin. You'll need closures. This particular one is fancy with a heart embellishment on one side. You're going to need wire protectors to protect your wire over the long term. Crimp beads to stop the beads from moving. And other stylized beads such as spacer beads just for the look as well as pearls and you're also going to need some sea glass beads or whatever you desire. The main feature bead will be a crystal starfish. Lastly, you need a small amount of chain. I have already previously cut my chain into a short length and I'm going to start off by showing you the opening and closing of the jump end because you're going to do this on either side of your already cut chain. You're going to take your closure and you're going to apply it onto this first jump ring. Once you have that on, you're going to seal it by just doing a twist and turn motion to close the jump ring. Now you're going to repeat this on the other side. Open the jump ring and add the other part of the closure. Now this larger jump ring is going to be at the bottom because this is where we're going to be beading up to this point. You're going to of course do this on both sides. Close the jump ring and now we're going to start with the beading wire. You want to measure it to the length that you would like the necklace to be because this is where the beads will be. You're going to cut at that marked location that you decided upon and you're going to do this two times. So you need two pieces of wire. Now you're going to start with the wire protector we showed you in the beginning. You're going to take it and slip the wire through the wire protector and take it over the top and through. Now you're going to add this onto the jump ring that is attached to the chain. See a closer look here what that looks like and then you're going to carry a crimp bead onto that. You're going to go ahead and use your crimping pliers to close and seal this crimp bead. This is where the beads will run onto. You're going to do this two times. Once that's done, you are ready to start beading. I started first with my pearl strand, which includes the pearls and the spacer beads. You just want to continue beading until you've completed this whole strand. Then you can move on to your sea glass section. You're going to do the same thing up until you get to halfway point. This is the point where you're going to add your feature bead, which is that starfish. So it'll fall into the center of the sea glass strand. So you just want to take the speed and you want to glide it and slide it onto the portion that has the sea glass. Remember this is going to fall right in the center. So just carry that beading wire straight through the feature bead and you just want to slide it down. Now you want to complete beading on this strand. Once you've completed beading on this strand, you can move on to adding this onto the chain. You're going to start with a crimp bead and then you're going to move on to your wire protector like we did in the beginning. Carry that through and pull it as taut as you can. Then once you have that, you're going to take the remaining portion of this wire and pull it so you get it all the way to the crimp bead and carry the wire through at least a few of the glass beads, two to three or to your preference. Once we get that through, we're going to begin to pull it nice and tight until you get the crimp bead and everything all the way down to the beads as you see here. Once you have that, the excess that you're pulling on right there will be removed. You're going to cut that after you crimp the bead. So you're going to crimp and close the crimp bead at this point and remove that excess wire as I said. Once you do that, you want to slip that little piece of wire into the bead so it does not show and you're basically complete. That's it. So easy for a wonderful statement necklace. How beautiful is that? I hope that you've enjoyed this DIY. You can find mostly all these materials at your local craft store. Go ahead and get crafty.